Have you always been a, a gamer? That's when you uh, <laughs> bring your best once the uh, the real game starts. Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, I try to practice just how I play. I just been uh, nicked up a little bit, but uh, with the help from the uh, training staff, they just helped me get back uh, in time for the game. I guess. No, no one how precious I guess the opportunities are. Were you especially eager to make sure you could get back in time to play in that game? Uh, definitely, but at the same time, you can't uh, rush yourself. You can't put yourself through uh, something that you know you're not ready for. I mean, at the end of the day, your business is, I mean, your body is your business. So you got to be smart, but at the same time, I mean, this is, this is what we live to do. So. When did you know that you were good to go? Uh, probably a few days ago, but um, like I said, just, this isn't my first time. So uh, I tried to rush the last time and I got hurt again. So just, like I said, just worked with the training staff and uh, we just took it one day at a time. What was the uh, film session like today? Say it again? What was the film session like today? What do you mean? Uh, just Watching the... Uh, yeah, what was the feedback you got? Uh, I mean, overall, it's good. I mean, it's early, so I mean, obviously you got a lot of got a lot of things to clean up as a team, but I mean, a lot of good stuff and a lot of things that we need to clean up. And then personally, with your returns, uh, did you see anything where you thought, all right, I could have done something different here? Uh, definitely, like I said, you could always improve. Like maybe if I'd have made one cut instead of a different one, or maybe if I'd have read one uh, block differently. I mean, who knows? This might be a uh, low hanging fruit because you played at Assumption, but was last night the biggest crowd you ever played in front of? <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I think the biggest crowd I played in front of at Assumption was probably no more than 3,000. So, I mean, being out there was definitely different. What was that experience like just kind of going through that for the first time? Surreal. I mean, this is, like I said, this is everything you work for to be in front of a crowd like that. I mean, it's just surreal. How long in your football career was returning kicks something like else you did on the side versus thinking maybe I can make a career out of being a really good one of these? Uh, I didn't like really buy into it until my junior year of college. Uh, I hated the thought of um, playing kick return and punt return until my junior year of college. But I mean, I guess yeah, like I said, in the junior year, I just realized like I could do something with this. What What did you want? It, like, what What were the positions you Thought you were the best I mean. that I could have played in. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, mean I grew up like growing up. I played running back. I played uh, receiver. So I mean, but uh, yeah, like I said, junior year special teams just spoke to me. So what What do you think? Why do you think you've been so effective as a return man? Like, what What, what, what about your skill set suits that? I guess. Uh, I guess just vision, speed, and just being able to make people miss open field. Was there a moment, uh, a certain return or anything that 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 made you kind of fall in love with it? Or? <laughs> Uh, no, not really. I mean, all of them, I guess. <laughs> Where'd you, uh, did, did you get to do like a pro day or anything anywhere? Did you have to travel for that? I did my pro day at Harvard. At Harvard? Yeah. Uh, would you, would you run the 40 day? Uh, I don't, I, yeah, I have right. no idea. How do you, uh, you know, how do you make that jump from, yeah, I mean, a Harvard pro day, I'm not sure like how many NFL scouts are out of there. So, like, how do you jump from Assumption to Harvard day? I have no idea, man. I guess it's thank God, it's blessings. Had you ever been in the Superdome before last time? No, that was my first time. What was that like, maybe catching that first pun, or even in warm-ups, kind of making the adjustments? Like, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's just a real feeling. Um, never been in an environment like that, so I mean, it's definitely nerve-wracking, but I mean, once you get the first one under your belt, it's just second nature. Thank you. Appreciate it.